Hello everyone. This is intended to be a very quick video to show you how to use functions in Excel. Functions are sets of commands that repeat something and often do a lot of math uh, altogether. So for example, I've got a series of time measurements here. It doesn't really matter what it's for. And if I want to find the average of it, I know I could add up all of these, get that sum, and then divide them by the number of uh, values that went into it. But that could become very tedious if I have a large, num big list of numbers. And so Excel has a built-in average function. To start with this, you'll select where you want your result to go. And uh, whenever we're asking Excel to do some math on values, we start with the equal sign there and equals and then we'd type in the name of a function to make it easier for us so in this case the function name that we want is average you'll see that it predicts a whole bunch of different things up there uh, lots of different ways we might be uh, what might ask to find an average but for this one we just want to do the regular and then we will put in a parenthesis here and you'll see that we could list out numbers that we want to find the average of so if we wanted to type them each in and separate them by a comma, we could do that. But the easier way is to, instead of doing typing in, select which numbers that you want. So I just went up, held, I'm holding my mouse button down, left button, to select all of these. And you'll see down below that I have selected the cells in column E from row 8 to row 12. And now it'll find the average. I'm just going to put the end parenthesis and hit enter. It finds the average right away. If I want to do standard deviation, another typical one that we do on data sets, I'll hit equals to say that I wanted to do something. STDEV is the standard de deviation abbreviation. First parenthesis, I could list the numbers, but I'm going to highlight and do that and get there. Now, often Excel will put in a whole bunch of numbers, just it'll keep stringing it out um, as far as it can as far as there's room. And we usually want to round that to fewer numbers since we have two significant figures in each of these values. I wanna do that too. So I'll highlight the cell and I'll come up here to the de decrease decimal until I round it. Uh, Excel will round it for me to the number of decimal places or uh, significant figures that I want. Down here, keep going. And every time I hit it, it rounds it to the next appropriate digit. And that's all there is to it. 